Good day, fellow learners. This is your mentor, your fact check by the Ray Gapos, joining you in our learning and teaching session for case number 17. So, once again, welcome. And before we proceed, I'd like to ask you to join us in this mission. Our goal is to provide free NTEX RN application and review to 100 nurses. For this year, we're able to achieve that in the past two years. And actually this year, we've increased our scholarship grants to 300 slots. So to help us achieve this, just watch and finish the ads in our videos. And thank you in advance for doing that. And if you happen to have the extra time, share this video to at least 10 of your friends and we will pray for your success on the Yenplex. Thank you very much for doing so. And on to our next important thing to do. So I'd like to say thank you to this anonymous lady who gave 20,000 to the scholarship program for our less fortunate brothers and sisters in the healthcare professions. Thank you very much. We'll put to good use whatever you are giving us. And that is our main goal for this year to tap on the kind hearted um, nurses who could spare some cash to um, help us give more scholarships to our less fortunate brothers and sisters in the healthcare profession. So I also would like to make this advisory, Dr. Ray Gapus, that's me and the mentors of the Ray Gapus system, are not part of another center named Gapus Review Academy or GRA. So if you want to engage in our one-of-a-kind learning system, please do look for my full name. It's a Ray A. Gapus Review System. So if you don't see any one of us in your class, that is not a Ray Gapus System class. So we also have our promo for this month. Get a free review from us if you process your NPLEX RN application with ITAPS Gapus. The official processing arm of the Ray Gapus System, we process your applications faster, hustle-free, and at a more affordable cost because our package begins at 45,000 pesos with free review program. So please do give us a call if you're interested. Like Serenato Natalio, who is now a USRN, to all glory to God. It's official. I'm now a certified USRN. I'm still overwhelmed and thrilled with this new milestone in my nursing career. Passing the NGN exam is the fruit of hard work, sacrifices, and faith to the Almighty God. Thanks to my parents, my siblings, and all my relatives and friends for their prayers, especially to my cousin, Stanley, for his support in pursuing this journey. To ITAPS Gapus, thank you for the smooth and systematic processing of my NPLEX application. The staffs are very accommodating and answer queries swiftly. To Ray A. Gapus Review System, especially to Sir Ray, you are a blessing to us. Your dedication and compassion to help nurses in achieving their dreams is superb. Thank you very much. For the kind words, Renato, a highly recommended review system because of its high standard. To my fellow USR inspirants, believe your next. And he believed, and as they say, the rest is history. Now, on to our next generation NTLEX RN case number 17. But before that, let me say congratulations to Marie Patricia Sadang Ong from Ateneo de Naga University who passed the uh, NGN for the State Board of New York last August 3, 2024. And let's learn from her success story. I took my exam last August 3. My computer stopped at 85 questions after three hours. After 48 hours, I received my unofficial quick result showing past result. Congratulations. The Ray Gapos system is one of the many sources during my review. I attended their comprehensive review, quick fix online twice because you can repeatedly attend their classes at no additional cost and utilize the mentoring with Ms. McLean, which really helped me the most. Okay, for those of you who are joining us, don't forget to seek Ms. McLean's success advice. Okay, so I also answered QBanks in TOP, that's our online learning platform, several times to build my stamina in answering questions. For the books, I read NCLEX 311, the old version twice, and the nursing reminder sheet days before my exam. Huge thanks to all the RAGRS staff, especially to Mentor Francis, Ms. McLean, Sir Ray, Ms. Joanne. Thank you for being part of my success in becoming a USRN. To all the stickers, believe in yourself, pray, and manifest that you are next. And that's coming from Ms. Marie Patricia Sadang Ong from the Ateneo de Naga 
University. Okay, so on to our NPLEX RN alert. So specifically, we're going to talk about vancomycin-resistant enterococci. It's an infection. However, there are certain things that we have to clarify in terms of some misconceptions related to VRE. Like for example, some people would ask, can I hug my children if I have VRE? Can I kiss them? Can I share plates or glasses or utensils with them? Now, these are the things that we're going to address as we discuss vancomycin-resistant enterococci, okay? So let's move on. Now, let's talk about, first and foremost, the risk factors and remember the code mycin. So VRE or vancomycin-resistant enterococci is common among people with medical devices in the body, like for example, if they have catheters, because you have these tubes that are inserted into your body and this could be a good entry point and at the same time, a culture medium for bacterial growth. Immunocompromised clients, those clients who are undergoing chemotherapy or adjacent therapy, those clients with cancer or organ transplant, um, they have been recipient to organs, definitely, they, they are receiving immunosuppressant drugs. Those who have undergone invasive procedures like surgery, because you know for a fact that the skin is the first line of defense. So once it's broken, then the body becomes a risk to infection. And of course, <clears throat> those who are non-responsive to vancomycin. So remember the risk factors, we have a code mycin. So VRE may therefore affect wounds, <clears throat> the urinary tract, and of course, the surgical sites. So it is life-threatening if this left untreated. So what are the medications or drugs that could be given to the client with VRE? First and foremost, you have your linezolid, which is an antibiotic. But there are things that we have to remember related to linezolid. So the common side effects of linezolid would include wheezing. You have itching on the skin. Okay, then the client could have um, hives and at the same time skin rashes. So pay particular attention. Remember the code could be something that you don't wish, but you know, the code is wish. So wheezing, okay. So that is indicative of airway obstruction, okay. And then of course, pay particular attention to your skin rashes, and hives, including skin irritation. So once again, wishing, irritation of the skin, skin rashes, and hives. Wish, okay. Now, linezolid could also potentially cause bone marrow suppression or myelosuppression. So you have to ensure that the client would have uh, regular checking of the blood components. Okay, and if ever they experience symptoms like bleeding, easy fatigability, or um, development of other infections, this could very well indicate that there's immuno, oh sorry, there's myelosuppression. So therefore, the client needs to see a doctor immediately. Now, daptomycin is also one of the drugs that are given to um, treat your VRE. And common side effects definitely be nausea, anorexia, constipation, and of course, potential allergic reaction, just like your linezolid. So VRE, urinary tract infection, is treated with ampicillin and gentamicin. There are things that we need to remember related to gentamicin. First and foremost, it's an aminoglycoside, so it's autotoxic and nephrotoxic. So as autotoxic, as an autotoxic agent, it can potentially damage cranial nerve 8, so we need to assess hearing and refer the client on audiologies. At the same time, it's nephrotoxic, so we need to check the peak entry levels. The peak level should be checked within 15 to 30 minutes if the medication was given per IV after the third or the fourth dose. And of course, the true levels, meaning the lowest level of the drug, needs to be checked within 30 minutes to one hour before the next dose. And it's also important to note that if the patient is taking gentamicin and the patient develops oliguria, that is an indication of acute kidney injury and that needs to be reported by the physician. 
So any of these antibiotics could potentially change the pH of the GIT. And remember the functional concept, any drug that changes the pH of the gastrointestinal tract can potentially cause diarrhea, okay? And pay particular attention to the fact that diarrhea is best judged on the consistency of the stool. So a client with VRE in the hospital must be placed in a private room or in the same room as the other clients with VRE. So we call this cohort pain. And in the care of a client with VRE, we need to implement standard precautions with gloving or contact precautions plus standard precautions. So VRE is not spread by coughing or sneezing. Therefore, remember this, this is the thing that we asked a while back when we started our videos, a client with VRE, our video. So a client with VRE can hug and kiss their children at home. They can share plates, cups, sheets, and towels as normal individuals would. So this condition therefore cannot be transmitted through these casual types of contact. Okay, so before we apply what we just learned in our case number 17 analysis, let me read through the feedback of one who used the latest edition of NCLEX 311, and her name is Miss Irene Aveliana from Mobini Colleges from Daet Camarines Norte, who passed the New York State Board of Nursing exam. So, this is her feedback. They provided a structured program that refreshed my knowledge, the comprehensive review sessions, up-to-date study materials, the simulated exams they provided were instrumental in helping me familiarize myself with the exam format. Nevertheless, the holy grail NCLEX 311 book was the perfect recipe for passing the NCLEX. The staff and the ITs were incredibly supportive and always readily available 24 seven. My sincere thank you. Soar to new heights. That's what Sir Ray has written in his autograph. Sabuk ko, sabi niya. And indeed, it's the start of aiming high and unlocking your potential. Stay committed, utilize the resources, and believe in your ability to succeed, and it's possible. The journey may be challenging, but the reward is truly worth it. Trust in the power of I believe I am next, but don't forget wag mamaru, which means don't be pretentious. And always pray to God be the glory. That's coming from Miss Irene. Aviliana from Mobili Colleges in Daet Camarines Norte. Thank you very much, Mom Irene, for the very kind words. And on to our analysis of case number 17. So here we go. A client post chemotherapy develops fever after the removal of an IV catheter. If the client is diagnosed with vancomycin resistant enteropoxy or VRE, which statement reflects a need for further teaching? Focus on the phrase reflects a need for further teaching, which simply implies that we need to look for something that we need to correct or something that is not correct, that we need to correct, okay? So you are supposed to be looking for, the other way of putting it, a false statement. So let's read through the options. Number one, I can hug my children when I arrive home. Number two, I can be in the same room with a patient with the same illness as mine. Number three, I will need to wash my hands after using the toilet. And number four, I can have a vaccine to prevent the illness. So which one is incorrect that we need to correct or which one reflects a need for further teaching? Definitely it's statement number four because currently there's no vaccine for this condition. So clients with VRE can hug their children they can stay in the same room with clients with the same illness. And of course, hand washing is an effective way of preventing transmission of VRE. So those of you who have statement number four as the answer, congratulations, you got it correctly. And before we proceed any further, may I invite you to join me in our 10-day challenge to pass NGN. And we're doing the Quick Fix Bootcamp again in Baguio in our new home. Okay, it's the Mount Crest Hotel. So from November 13 to 24, you will be seeing me. And of course, our guest mentors join me. It just takes 10 days to prepare for the NGN. That's our promise. And of course, our bootcamp includes our books, the use of our Q bank, unlimited seat in our core shells and our simulation room. So join the hundreds of thousands of nursing passers 
from more than 35 countries and we're still counting. Okay, so we have here a 60 year old who passed the test and joined more than hundreds and thousands of them. So the second reminder that I'd like to tell everyone on uh, their preparations for the NGN is this. So learn how to navigate technology. Learn how to study using technology. And for you to do that, you need to practice it. And your practice should be reflective of the environment that you will be in when you take your test. Okay, so here are the Regapo system. Our learning tools are published by world-renowned publishers. Okay, and we have our own learning management system that covers all the concepts in the test, plus these are updated on a monthly basis. So the third requirement is you have to be in a conducive environment that should keep your focus. Here at the Regapo system, we have our own simulation room for the NGN. And of course, we keep our class to a manageable number. So may I invite you to my next session of the next generation NPLEX R and Flex, and it's going to be in October. And I think the specific dates would be October 1, 2, and 3. It's a most flexible test preparation class for the NPLEX RN. The fee starts at 3,499. And your choice of live face-to-face -face class, live virtual class, on-demand and limited video recorded lessons, our QBank and three books, plus engine strategies and sample questions by Dr. Ray Gapus, that's me. And of course, my one-on-one -on -one tutorials and mentoring. So you can choose which class you would want to attend, the weekdays morning, weekdays p.m., weekend whole day classes are available. We also have evening classes that just runs for two and a half hours on a daily basis. So master passing the NPLEX with just a minimum investment of two and a half hours a day. Join us. And once again, this is your mentor, your fact check by the Ray Gapus, joining you at your service in your journey towards your success in passing NGN. Till our next video.